ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the World Cyber Games 2009 English commentary brought to you by Quad V. I'm joined by the greatest thing to happen since Holland since Edam Cheese, Matt Aspeck Hoving. How are you? I'm pretty good, and so is Edam Cheese. We have a real treat for you coming up on stage. After a four hour marathon of Counter Strike, we now have Dungeon and Fighter being fought out between Japan and Korea. Clay versus Uranium. Now, we're going to make a disclaimer at the very beginning of this match that this map, that this game is one that Europeans cannot play. It is locked off to Asian players. There are only Asian players in the tournament. The Europeans can't get on the beta to play it. And as such, we are seeing this game for the very first time. It'll, it, it'll definitely be an experience, to say the least. As uh, only the Koreans, the Japanese, and the Chinese are you know, able to play this game, as far as, we're, uh, as, far as we know. But uh, aside from that, nine players showed up here at the WCG. Three of the uh, three countries that I uh, talk of. And here's one of them is Uranium. And uh, he will be coming out for Korea and uh, taking on Japan. He won his first two games, so... He must be doing something right. His opponent will be Clay Hall, who's in blue on the server. The way the match is formatted is that you have three fights, uh, sorry, you have up to five fights, first to three, over a number of different locations. First to three wins, takes the game. Imagine Street Fighter 2. So uh, here's the Japanese player. Indeed, best out of five, and there is our Japanese player, it is Clay. That's why he uh, came in first for Japan when he the qualifier. And interestingly enough, within the uh, qualifying stages of the tournament, he managed to take out uh, one of the favorites that came out in the, uh, well, in the in the group stage. Who was on top, that was, uh, at the time, uh, that was Yasai. And he got taken down by this individual right here and managed to uh, get on top on that. And from my perspective, he is the, uh, well, the favorite for this particular match. The fact that you know that impresses me. I know, I do my research well. So, just so you know, disclaimer again, Europeans were not allowed on the beta for this, we could not see the game to play it. So, if we say... Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World Cyber Games 2009. As, uh, yeah, here we are, here in Chengdu. The, one of the most amazing events I've been to so far. Set four and a half thousand people are currently within this hall. They just watched some CSS. But now, right now, we're going to be doing some Dungeon and Fighter. As uh, these two players, Japan, Japan and Korea, will go and go on and uh, fight for the gold. Uranium and Clay in the boxes. So, are you ready to rock and roll? I'll be as, I'm ready as ever. I think you are as well, after coming out of that four hour drama. Yeah. I am uh, certainly intrigued by what we're gonna see. Intrigued. Intrigued would be a good term for it, I think. Here as we I'm go. Three, two, one. Take us away, Matt. As uh, here we go. For those people who uh, see this for the first time, well, just like us, it is a brawler. It's a 2D platformer as Uranium is already taken into fray. And that pumping into damage that's what's played quite harshly. And uh, a lot of plus backing going on. And there's also a lot of there's also a lot of 3D element in this game. Basically, by levels, you can move back and forth, up and down, trying to get the damage. And the Uranium so far is doing it quite well. It and looks uh, like you can uh, regen your health as well. Um, and you can deploy robots, which Clay is doing, which appear to give damage. And here we go, Uranium with a lovely little four-hit combo onto Clay. Clay's in real trouble here, and Clay trying to get himself out of there. You can see him on the top right, he's in blue. He's about half health, we would assume, but he's shooting back. As the abilities come raining in, the robots are still on the field. Uranium is quick to take them out, making sure they don't, any do, it, don't do any damage. As, uh, Clay is raging through his, uh, well, for his item stack. As, uh, whoa, that goes a 4, 5, 6, 7 combo in. Takes him down to almost 20% health. This is not going to take very long for your aim to finish it off. Clay needs to do a combo to say, wow, dude. As, uh, right now, it's looking very good for Uranium. Clay's special feature appears to be the gun thing. Uh, but 
The robots are also working as uh, Urania looks like he's going to finish Clay off. Clay's using his, uh, Uranium's using his special feature now as well, I think, as uh, he bats around. Here comes the shoots from the, the gun, but he doesn't seem to have the line on Uranium, who's guarding around in the uh, near rather than the far. Nice little bat. Clay's going to go down! And Uranium wins the first point. Indeed. Best out of five here in Jandu. Dungeon and Fighter, first round goes to Uranium. Two more for him to go. We'll see whether or not he will be able to pull it off. Clay will have to, uh, well, work a little bit harder than he did in that last match because uh, Uranium did have almost all his health remaining there. Yeah, uh, Uranium, uh, sorry, Clay really didn't get going. Mm, indeed he was. We're going towards the second map. There's uh, different maps in this game, probably like uh, different arenas like in Tekken or Virtua Fighter. And so here we go. That's the second uh, second map. Basically the same deal as we're on our way. Uranium taking into fray. Let's play on the range. Deploying his robots and grenades. And Uranium is quick to uh, take up the robots already. Clay is dashing through his uh, action points already. Here we go. Clay tossing over some grenades. Goes for the shot. This is the start he wants as he lands a few hits onto Uranium. Bang, bang, bang goes the gun. And Uranium finds himself in trouble, but he heals his health up. That seems to be something Uranium can do with that character, perhaps because of those red, those blue furry things flying around behind him. Indeed, it must be something like osmosis or something along those lines. Taking it out from the enemy, adding to your own. So one of those features you have a lot in the uh, Chinese in the Asian RPG games. And uh, meanwhile, Uranium says, okay, you can take my health, but I will still stick my stick into you, as he does just that. Clay is down to about two-thirds of his health. And so we got three minutes remaining here. Is that there we go? The guns whips out, and we have a triple with quad five. Here we go. Uranium is getting it hot and heavy as Clay rips through him right there. Uranium's down to about one third health. Where Clay's on about 50 percent. Now we have uh, Uranium trying to get himself involved as he tries to get back into this, but Clay's delivering a lot of damage. Uranium in on the action. Clay now in all sorts of trouble. Down to a quarter health. Uranium has better health and lands oh. the super sword thing over towards Uranium. And Uranium's going to win this one. And Clay is out. The super sword wins it by for two rounds to nil. Clay would have thought he was in that one, but Uranium picks up his second point. He needs just one more to win it. Quite amazing how that works. That super sword is uh, is, an, is an interesting weapon right there. He tried it out in the first match, missed it on that point, and uh, actually Max deployed, deployed properly in this one. So best out of five. Uranium currently has two. He needs just one more. It's time for for Clay to put serious face on. Super sword is now the official move name for that <laughs> dagger thing. We're back onto our first location, it would appear, albeit with now some added barrels as the shots come out. Those robots are not your friend. They're like evil Pokemon. As Uranium throws out his Pokeballs. As the evil robot uprising will happen one day, but not today. As uh, Uranium also already tries to go in towards Clay. Clay is not going to have anything of that. Whips up the gun. Uranium getting a lot of damage straight into him, but he's regenerating quite quickly as well. Here comes the stick. Maybe we can see some Super Sword action shortly. But uh, in the meanwhile, we just have some single hit action uh, coming about. Clay getting his health back. Uranium not so lucky. The robot is right on top of him. Uranium comes in. One, two, three. Super, Super Sword action time. As that completely rips Clay to shreds. This is not gonna. This is not looking good for Clay. Now Clay on the comeback. He seems to only use his gun whenever he's at point blank range. Now he seems to have learned that trick. But here we go with the stick. And now I think we're charging up for another Super Sword attack. But Clay's not got much health left. And this is going to be is. it. Uranium wins the World Cyber Games in Dungeon and Fighter. Hooray! Hooray! Clay doesn't know what hit him. And the crowd is ecstatic. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. And there he is. Uranium wins. And his lucky, lucky skull. Man, indeed. Korea... Uh, Korea beats Japan. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, I think that is the case. A little bit flat. There we go. Korea wins the, the World Cyber Games in Dungeon and Fighter. And if you enjoyed that, well, have I got news for you? There's more <laughs> DNF yes. coming your way uh, later on, as uh, that's coming up with the AMD Mini uh, DNF <laughs> at uh, 
uh, about six o'clock, but we're running about three hours behind schedule. So who knows when that might happen? Indeed, as that's going to be with May and Red Eye here. On, oh, not anymore. With Stewart, actually. As uh, Red Eye is not doing so good at that point. As, uh, next up, we got more action for you here at the World Cyber Games. It's Starcraft with Tasteless and Artosis who are, point are ready to take their seats. It's Jadong versus Baisu, an all Korean match that's got the crowd roaring. Should be a thriller. Indeed. We'll be back in a bit. Toodaloo.